We come now to the last scale item, which tests for neglect or inattention. You may have enough information by the time you reach this point in the exam to make a judgment, but if abnormalities are not clear, the presence of neglect is examined by the patient's response to double simultaneous stimulation. Unless there is obvious neglect or anasognosia, it is wise to double check. First, ask the patient to close their eyes. Alternately touch the patient's left or right side and ask the patient which side is being touched. After the patient responds consistently, then touch the patient on both sides at once. The patient without neglect will identify sensation on both sides. Patients with cortical impairment may extinguish one side, that is, they will only perceive sensation on one side. Since neglect is scored only if present, the item is never untestable. Now the last thing I'd like to do is tap you on the right, left, or both. You tell me which it is, all right? Close your eyes. We'll start with your face. Right, left, or both? Okay. Can you say if it was left, right, or both? Okay, right. You know what might be easier for you is if you take your finger and point to the side that I'm touching, okay? okay? Point to the side that I'm touching. Good. Right. All right. Left. Good. Both. Excellent. Now, you're able to pronounce it now, so let me try the hands. You tell me if this is right, left, or both. Right. Good. Okay. Left. Wait for me to touch it. Both. 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 Left. Right. Both. Beautiful. Keep your eyes closed and I'm going to tap your legs. Right. Left. Both. Uh, Left. Both. I'd like to do the same thing now in your vision. Um, You can point to the finger that wiggles. It'll either be right, left, or both. Right. Left. Right. Both. Both. Good. For scale item number 11, this patient scored a zero. Let's look at how this scale item is scored. Score a zero for the absence of neglect. If the patient has a severe visual loss, preventing visual double simultaneous stimulation, and the cutaneous stimuli are normal, the score is normal. If the patient has aphasia and cutaneous stimuli are normal, the score is normal. Score a one for inattention to only one modality, visual, tactile, auditory, or spatial. If the patient does not extinguish, but shows other well-developed evidence of neglect, score a one. I want you to tell me if you see a finger wiggling on the right side, left side, or both sides. Where's that? That's left. Right. 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 Left. Right. Right. Okay. A 2 is scored for profound hemiattention or extinction to more than one modality. Score a 2 if one side extinguishes to both visual and tactile stimuli using double simultaneous stimulation. Score a 2 if there is inattention to more than one category, visual, tactile, auditory, or spatial inattention. A patient with a score of 3 on level of consciousness 1A is automatically scored a 2. As soon as you finish, add up the scores from each item to derive the total. It is always wise to be sure that you have entered the scores correctly, especially on items 1B and 1C. Many people have a tendency to write a 2 when the patient scores both items correctly. We have completed basic instruction in the use of the NIH stroke scale. As you have seen, the scoring rules are rigid and arbitrary and in some cases counter to typical neurological practice. However, if the scoring rules are followed, the scale scores will be highly reliable and reproducible. To help you master the art of scoring the NIH stroke scale, we have placed guided interactive patient assessments on this disc. Using these patient assessments, you will have the opportunity to observe again how each test is given and how patients respond, and to practice scoring performance on each item of the scale with the opportunity to compare your scoring judgments to those of experienced clinicians.